Hello friends and welcome back to another episode of In the Studio with Ophelia. I'm Ophelia and thank you all so much for joining me today. For today's video, I thought it would be fun to have a bit of art journal play with me and let's look at my favorite art supplies for the year. One thing that you may know if you've been here for a bit is I do literally use pretty much the same supplies in all of my videos and I I really do want to branch out some but these supplies somehow end up being my tried and my true and just the go-to supplies to get whatever it is done that I would like done. And they just end up being my favorites and show up over and over and over again. So we're just gonna play around, do some art journaling, and um, I'll show you my favorite supplies for 2022. If you enjoy this video, I would love for you to give it a thumbs up. Definitely subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you can see when all of this madness uploads. Again, thank you all so, so much for being here, being a part of this channel, being a part of my creativity and coming into the studio with me. And so I shall stop talking, turn the camera there, and let's get busy playing with my favorite art supplies for 2022. Thanks guys. I thought a great way to end the year here is to just go over my most used and favorite art supplies. I will start with, of course, the journal and then my ephemera. My gosh, I have such a paper addiction. It's, it's kind of wild. Number two being my 700B Polar Flow brush. It's shocking to me that this brush is for watercolor because I use it for every, everything here in my studio. Number three comes in with my matte medium. Now matte medium, of course, can be used to thin down paint consistency and such like that, but I find that I always end up using it as the glue for my collage, but there are so many different ways that matte medium can be used I just find that it's perfect for me in a journal to use it for gluing. Um, I like that it will get the job done to glue things down and I don't have to worry about um, anything tacky or then the pages end up sticking together. I just like the finish of this one and I do have another one. It is the New York Central that I will make sure to insert a picture of and definitely I will leave everything linked in the comments below but or in the description box below but um I ended up I had one and ended up giving it away to a student and so on hand here I just have the Liquitex um, that I'm using but there's so many different brands number three comes in being my gesso or now I'm sorry we're at number four um, gesso. I use gesso for everything from definitely here in my journal pages, priming canvases and such like that. And then this new Aquamist bottle and this Creative Mark Harmony Quill Brush are newbies that I just absolutely have thoroughly enjoyed using. That Aquamist bottle just gives such a nice spray or like a continuous mist spray um, to my journal pages as well as um, activating my watercolors. That Harmony Quill brush, I love it just for splashing color around. It definitely holds a lot of water and it's just become a favorite. And you guys know that I am in love with my Lucas 1862 watercolor palette. I've outfitted mine and just love Lucas paints. I've used them and this watercolor palette for 
as long as I can remember and I keep either refilling the pans or end up getting a new one um, and then creating a new palette. Um, definitely a favorite of mine are my Lucas Krill Studio acrylic paints. Here I'm using titanium white, rose, yellow ochre, or Naples yellow. Um, fern is the green, and then usually I use Payne's gray, but this one is uh, Prussian blue. And I just absolutely love the finish of these paints. I use them for everything. So it's no wonder that, of course, they would make my list of my favorites. Again, the same 700B Polar Flow brush always makes an appearance in my artwork. Rather, I am working in my journal or on a canvas. I, I just find that this brush performs so beautifully. You may have noticed when I was actually gluing things down, I love using the back handle to make, of course, scratch marks in wet paint. Um, I love to use it to uh, rip off extras of the paper and such. I just absolutely love the brush, love Lucas paints. The finish is just beautiful for what I need. I've got just a pencil here that I'm making scratch marks and then definitely pulling in that palette knife that I end up always seeming to use for different things with painting. Next up, rubber stamps and of course archival inks. Um, here I found a little spot in the journal where I didn't actually end up getting everything glued down. So just a bit of masking tape covers everything and then on with the rubber stamp. This one is a dark room door stamp and I believe it's called French, French script that I end up using all the time and I've had it for forever. I like using archival ink because then it dries and I don't have to worry about going back over it with any other material. I am putting more paint on my palette to just kind of continue with building um, the background and I'm using another new find, this scratcher that I have thoroughly enjoyed using. I just love that I can place the color and it's, it's, I love that it just gives me such a random mark and just, I just, I love it. Next up are my painted and printed papers. Oh my gosh, again, such an obsession with printing papers. And then I got into uh, water marbling paper and painting on paper. All things, all things paper are just my favorite. I've pulled out a stack and just kind of auditioning things around to just see what I like to actually go on this page. And then comes, of course, this giant bucket of my collage. I love collage sheets just to add a nice punch of color and such on my pages. And one thing I know is I literally want to work my way through my bucket of collage sheets that I've just acquired and keep reprinting because I just love using them in my journals. I always find that using and adding collage just gives my pages a bit of an extra something and I just enjoy them. I literally, I, I have so much and end up using, well, I know I want to do a better job in 2023 of using all of the things that I've just keep adding on to like my collage papers and printed papers and painted papers and all of my papers. And I keep thinking I'm going to maybe challenge myself to have like a capsule collection of things that I just want to use. I'm just using a glue stick at this point to get everything glued down and, you know, just finding more random bits of paper to just add on to my journal pages. I just, I just love the look that it gives my pages with just such minimal effort. 
when all I have to do is just cut things out and glue things down. And so that's why I end up loving using collage paper so much. Next up, of course, after I find more collage papers on my desk um, are my writing utensils and mark making utensils, if you will. Um, definitely pasta paint pens have made an appearance and my Jerry's Jumbo Jet Black Pencil. There's, I can't create without it. I found it. I love the dark mark that it gives. It is an oil impregnated charcoal that I love to use on canvas in my journal pages just to, to make marks. And it's a beautiful, rich black mark that I just love. I do love using my Posca paint pens, of course, as these have just always been a favorite. In addition to the Posca paint pens for journaling, one thing I've never really shared here on my channel and I plan to do far more of, I have absolutely been in love and fallen down such a rabbit hole with my next favorite utensil or writing instrument. And these are fountain pens. My Gosh, one of these days I plan to share with you all my fountain pen collection because it's it's fierce. I literally am in love with fountain pens and have found some new ones. I think what gets me are the inks that go with these pens, but I am in love and I definitely plan to bring them out far more on my channel because I just love using them for writing letters and journaling and all sorts of things. And so these guys wrap up my list of favorite journaling supplies and art supplies for 2022. I appreciate you all being here with me this year. I appreciate your support and I just thank you all for being here. I'll see you next time. Bye.